Hi, it's Elder. Last week I shared why I switched to using an iPad as my main computer. And this week I want to actually show you how I use it on a daily basis across three jobs and very busy family life. Quick note before we start. I still love my MacBook and use it once or twice every week for things which are basically better to be done on a Mac because I do not want to use iPad only because it's an iPad and I recommend you do the same. So always choose the best tool for the job. There's that out of the way, let's take a look at how I use my iPad on a daily basis. So all my day-to-day -day planning and task management happens in Things 3 and I do use Apple Reminders for shared lists, this is my wife, but Things is basically my second brain. And since the iPad is the device I use the most, this is where my planning naturally lives. A big part of my day is communication. So I spend hours in Apple Mail and handle most of my meeting through FaceTime and Discord. And I do use Zoom occasionally, which is obviously the industry standard. And most of my core work also happens on the iPad. And I do web design using tools like Blocks, Squarespace, WordPress, and Figma. I also manage my e-commerce shop and handle marketing tasks like newsletters and blogging using Substack. And for some of these tasks, I'm using the web versions of the applications. For some, I'm using the native iPadOS applications, but all of that fits very naturally into my iPad workflow. For content creation, I use iPad to write scripts and plan videos and things. And I also edit videos in Final Cut Pro for iPad. It's not perfect, but for the most of my content work, it's more than capable. And I really like how seamlessly it works with my iPhone for recording and transferring of the footage. I use the iPad for note taking with either Magic Keyboard or Apple Pencil. And for reading, I use Kindle. And for managing and editing photos, I mostly use Apple Photos and Photometer for RAW files, this Affinity Photo for more advanced edits or even thumbnail creation for my YouTube videos. I'm also a big fan of RSS feeds. Even in 2026, pretty much 100% of the news I consume comes through the app called Reader, which I've been using for many years. Alongside that, I use YouTube for videos, a few AI tools, and when my favorite football team plays, I also usually watch it here on an iPad. And my setup is intentionally very, very simple. I use an 11-inch iPad Pro with this M5 chip. The base model is 256GB of storage and 12GB of RAM, and it is the Wi-Fi only model. And most of the time it's attached to the Magic Keyboard, but I do like to take it off sometimes. And I also use the Apple Pencil Pro. No other accessories apart from the Samsung T7 SSD, which I use when I need more storage. When it comes to multitasking, iPadOS 26 has become much more flexible, but I still usually work with just one or two apps at a time. Sometimes it's the third app in SlideOver, which I absolutely love. And when I finish the task, I like to close the apps and move on. And I don't like having a bunch of apps or browser tabs open in the background. It was the same story this Mac as well. So I think this is one of the reasons why this very focused iPad workflow works so well for me. So using the iPad as my main computer has clear advantages. It's easier to focus, it's incredibly portable, and the more controlled system with fewer choices fits my minimalist mindset and helps me work more efficiently. That said, it's not ideal for very large projects or complex file management or even like heavy external display setups. And Safari can also feel like a mobile browser at times and some apps like Final Cut Pro or Blocks aren't as feature-rich as their macOS versions. Still, for me, pros outweigh the cons 90% of the time, and I genuinely prefer this iPad workflow over the Mac workflow I had for years. I think an iPad-first setup works especially well for busy people who value simplicity and focus, as long as their work doesn't require them to use desktop-only applications. So this is how I personally use iPad on a daily basis for basically everything. And I absolutely love this setup and I'm sure it will evolve going forward. So if you're curious about it, stick around, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. So next Tuesday, I will be talking about the new M5 iPad Pro 
and how it compares to the older version of the iPad Pro I have been using for many years. So thanks for watching and I will see you next Tuesday.